Alright guys, I know it has been an extremely long time. I guess it's time for an update. Tonight, I figured I would show you guys my hungry babies, since they're always hungry. Um, I got something new to show you guys that's been in the making for the last two months, and I have not posted anything about it. Um, I think you guys might like it, but we'll see. As you guys can remember, the BioCube 29 is still going. My big old fat boy over there. And we've got a new hungry fellow that is super super friendly. Let's see if we can get him to come up. And there he is. That is Buddy. Buddy loves Blood worms. So let's see how much Buddy likes blood worms. The whole thing, he just took the whole thing. Next, we have Hunter, the Almighty. Hopefully, I can get him to come eat. He just, yeah. There it comes. that my big boys are fed. We'll move on to another tank. So I used to have cichlids mixed in with all my tanks and I decided to remove them because they were being a little too aggressive. Uh, a lot of my fish are real slow moving and these fish were actually causing them to run all over the place or should I say swim all over the place and it was stressing a lot of fish out I had a few fish die um, small fish you know like tetras things like that and it was due to the stress that these cichlids were causing so I decided to take those cichlids back so this is my 20 high we got a couple goldfish Danios there is a lonely panda, Cory, back there in the back. But, I mean, there was more, and like I said, the cichlids, they did their number. So I got rid of them, and I'm gonna stock more fish in this tank. I just haven't really had a chance to do it. Um, now these guys are some feisty little buggers over this food. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a little bit in, and I have to do it in increments or they will just take it all at once. This little thing, this is my one gallon uh, snail topia, as I should say. Um, as you can tell, there's a bunch of pest snails. Uh, Daphnia, um, copepods, couple other things. Uh, basically I just throw my trimming gun here and there's no air circulation, just a light that is much too large for the tank. Um, I've got some Lapugia growing in there. But 
there's only snails in here and they are they're very small invertebrates but the plants are taken off I do dose it uh, dose it with um, iron and flourish excel and that pretty much gets the job done I mean <clears throat> there's actually a little bit of purling going on in there uh, you can see it right now but it's in there and for the final part of the update well guys this is my new reef it is small but it is mine that there is my new baby clown his name's Finn had him for maybe a month now roughly I have started to get corals excuse my camera I can't really do much about it until I get some new lenses but there are some corals in here some of them are all nice and open for you guys some of them not so much I'm having issues now as for a setup on this I do have a Kessel Tuna Blue, a 160 WE, and that's being controlled by the Spectral controller. And I do have a Wave Maker, uh, J Bow, something like that. There is a Skimmer. I'm running Chemi Pure Elite in my hang on back. I have an auto top off. It's a Tunze. I've got it running up under my cabineting. That's the system there. And then it goes down into my RDI. Here you might be able to see how many corals are here a little better. I kind of up the color spectrum some. This isn't how I keep the tank. This is a full white, and I keep the tank very blue. Um, with this, you can see all the algae and things like that, and I really don't like it. But it is what it is, and I figure I would feed this little guy for you because he is too fun to watch it in. And boom, he's gonna go after that. And I don't feed him very much because he doesn't need very much. There he is. And well, guys, that's an update. On the tanks, there's a little nano reef behind me. It looks crazy with no lenses, but it is what it is. And I hope you guys like it. I'm sorry I haven't updated in two months, but hey, hopefully the new tank will make up for it. And uh, I'll have some new things coming up soon. Hopefully I can remember to actually film me doing it. Uh, until next time, uh, happy fish keeping.